But yeah, look at the water. It's really nice with that kind of translucent, like, kind of foamy look with transition from blue and white. And it's really dynamic too with the wave. So we have everyone's favorite ship girl, at least by the American Navy. Yeah. <laughs> they love Iowa. Veterans agree. <laughs> they would plaster her all over the ship if she existed, like back when it was in service for real. But yeah, you can see why she's a really cutie. Man, we don't even play Gun Clay. Yeah, I don't. I have never played it, but I like Iowa. So let's open her up. When I see how big this box is and how big she is, I still wonder why they made me pay any single shipment for this. She could have definitely fit in with other boxes, with other figures. I mean, most of the stuff that gets like, lumped together like is bigger than this. Yeah, I paid, what, 100 bucks for shipping? I'm kind of pissed. Damn. <laughs> wait, wait, just for this one? Or yeah, or something like that. What the hell? But anyway, as for the figure herself, she looks pretty nice. And uh, yeah, plastic's a little bit on the thicker side compared to some other figures, so... Hopefully that kind of helps her. Oh, wait a minute. The base is really cool. Yeah, the base is really neat, so we'll take a closer look at that when I pull her out. But... Yeah, look at this crap. Oh! Oh, actually... Let's take a look at the box. So it kind of has that kind of like... Blue hexagon pattern. Hopefully that catches on camera. Yeah, and like the, the windows have those like waypoint thingies, so I think it's kind of like like the game interface where you navigate the ships around. Yeah, so that's pretty neat. And honestly, like even out of when she was still in the box, it looked pretty nice. Like the side lines aren't too obscured. Anyway, okay, yeah, this will be a bit more involved than I was expecting. So let's take the bottom part out first. Ooh. Okay, so they're actually a bit hefty. Oh man. Yeah, this one is packed pretty tightly, even like this plastic kind of cover for the this section is taped on individually. Which makes a lot of sense considering you have those kind of tiny turrets. It's really on there tightly. New plan, let's go from this corner. I think I can be a little bit more aggressive here. Since there's not much of the actual item here. I think once I get one corner loot. Okay, there we go. So yeah. This was a little bit more difficult than I imagined. But at the same time, that means there shouldn't be any risk of stuff falling out during shipping. Okay. That was a bit difficult. But yeah, I wanted to be careful so that we don't damage her. Big guns. Oh, look, that's really nice. Whoa. I like the shading on here. That kind of reminds me of when we reviewed that Figma of her. Yeah. So we can see like the, where she's gonna slot, or where this gun is gonna slot in on the main body. So it does, key, it looks like it's keyed. Shouldn't be any issues. There is a little, oh! Look at that. Oh. Yep. So the main guns are articulated. A slight bit. So it looks like we have some hexagonal uh, slots for the, uh, the, the smaller guns. So let's take out the other side. And same thing. Two turrets. So it doesn't look like um, these ones kind of rotate side to side. But, there looks like there is still a little bit of movement for the, uh, the guns. We have a few uh, slots for the, min uh, the smaller guns over here. Oh, interestingly enough, these uh, anti-aircraft batteries are already installed. Huh. I think those are anti-aircraft. Yeah. Oh, and yeah, of course, we have to have her, her number. BB61. It's not 69. Oh my god. Yeah, it should be BB61, right? Uh, I don't know if it's BB, but I think, I think it is BB. So same thing, we can kind of see the keyed uh, hole here to attach to the main body. And then you can kind of see where the uh, joint is, but it's not a real joint on this one. I, 
It did rotate on the Figma version, right? Yeah, the Figma had like a lot of articulation. But um, I mean, that's, you know, that's understandable for a figure. You don't really need that kind of articulation. Yeah. And this one, like, I think you get, you get like way more coloring and shading. Yeah. All right. So let's follow the instructions and we'll add the smaller guns. So yeah, you can see them label A and B. So you get four of these, three of those, and it's kind of clearly labeled here. So I don't think there will be too much of an issue aligning everything. So yeah, they get even another plastic thing to keep them like safe. Yeah, with how small these are, like I would be worried about them getting damaged in shipping. So it makes a lot of sense why they would uh, kind of do it separately. So, oh, interestingly enough, they're hexagonal, um, but the peg is circular, which probably means you should be able to kind of rotate them as you want. Well, you probably shouldn't rotate it while it's in there. You probably want to like, set it on an angle before you push it in. Yeah. You're free to kind of angle it. However, I'm gonna see if I can kind of make it a little dynamic. So, yep. A little bit of friction, but not too... Not too bad. I don't want to press it in too much. So this one only has one for that one, and then there's four for this one. Oh, and I actually didn't notice, but that's her main body. Looks like she gets two of the guns. Oh, that was an easy fit. Did you see that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nice. Hope they won't like, fall off. Yeah, hopefully not. Oh, I'm kind of sad. I can't remember what these guns are called right now. Like, I used to know. So maybe leave me a comment just to jog my memory, guys. So yeah, that's it. There's two more guns, but I guess that's going to be for Iowa herself. So let's move these aside for now and get to the main show. Okay, so let's take out the big girl herself. Oh. So that was a bit scary, but we got her out. I guess the plastic was really secure right there. It's kind of interesting. Oh, wait a minute. Huh. I think she's already on the base. Oh, it's nice. Okay. Let's take her out. Yeah, that's a really good base. Oh, like, nice. The, like, look at the, the detail on that sea foam. Like, holy crap. Yeah. Well, I guess that's why they kind of had that one attached. So it was a little bit more visible, but yeah, that whole wave is kind of inset right there. Um, and then I guess this kind of splash right here is the same way. I guess they really wanted to make sure this was secure, maybe? I don't yeah. know. But yeah, look at the water. It's really nice with that kind of translucent, like, kind of foamy look with transition from blue and white. It's and the really dynamic too, with the wave. Yeah, yeah, and you can kind of see like the water breaking up with that nice foamy pattern. And there's a like nail navigation pattern on the bottom of the base. Yeah, yeah, and then uh, along the perimeter of it, you can kind of see the name like Kante Collection. Yep, so it's I guess a, a hemisphere. <laughs> you see like one time here and then another time that way. So from any angle, you should be able to see that. This figure feels like it's meant to be kind of looked at from all the angles. But yeah, this has to be one of the best like figure bases we have. Yeah, definitely. Ah, I see. Oh, wait a minute! According to the instructions, the turrets can move. Oh, maybe it just like, have like, really high friction. Yeah, I'll, I'll mess with that a little bit later. And then, yeah, you know, a lot of times the figures, they'll have like plastic between the head and the neck, but they never explicitly tell you to like remove the head to take out the plastic, so that's actually kind of nice. Yeah, sometimes you just have to guess like if, like, if you can like uh -oh. Like, I pull the head, or do you need to just tear it off? Yeah. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna bring this closer to me so I don't mess it up. Okay, I can definitely say this is a little bit tricky because of stuff like the antenna on her head. Like, it's hard to kind of get a good grip without, like, you know, putting pressure on those, like, itty, like, tiny bits that might cause damage. Oh man. I don't suppose you have any ideas. It might be easier to just tear plastic. Maybe. 
Oh wait, it's coming loose. Ooh. Yeah, it's tricky because the arm is right there in between her hair. So, yeah. Uh-oh, her head's kind of trapped. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, like, it's kind of intricately kind of wrapped in that hair. It's actually snagging on some of the the tips right now. There we go. Well, might as well kind of take a closer look while we're here. So yeah, pretty cute face, I think. Yeah. I also really like all the flowy details in the hair. Yeah, this hair is pretty dynamic. Oh, it's pretty soft plastic, like you can kind of see it flexing. Yeah. Which I guess is probably intentional. Oh, her eyes are like glossy and reflective. Yeah, yeah. Like, does that catch on the camera? A little bit. But yeah, that's... Yeah, you can definitely see that kind of super glossy eye. Alright, so let's carefully put her back on after we remove this last bit of plastic. Actually, I'll leave this plastic. We can pull it off easily. That might kind of prevent any issues with scratches. When you put her back on, you have to kind of carefully thread the hand through that gap in the oh. hair. And then you have to kind of rotate it back in place. So yeah, that's... It was kind of hard to see with all the plastic into the original packaging, so that was kind of giving me trouble. But yeah, once you take the plastic off, the head should fit a little bit more easily since there's not as much material kind of, you know, in the way. Yeah, there we go. And yeah, you definitely want to press your other hand against her back. Otherwise, you're going to be kind of causing a lot of stress. Yeah, you. so you definitely want to support her back. Otherwise, um, that's going to cause a lot of stress. You can kind of see her flexing a little bit as I do that. Yeah. But yeah, I think it's worth it in the end. Definitely kind of want to avoid scratches with something so detailed. That's how to free her big guns. Oh, her main guns. Damn! Oh. That's why she's called BB. Oh my god, like... The... Yeah, th these are definitely like way more like bigger and shapely than Figma. Well, yeah, they better be. I mean, the Figma is big too, but like this one's like, damn. Yeah, it's like, oh, America size. <laughs> <laughs> After we remove all the plastic, she's looking really good even without all of her accessories on. Yeah. And yeah, it might be a little bit hard to see later. But like, the details on her belt with like the strap with the, uh, oh, what do you call it? I was gonna say naval emblem. Yeah, there's a lot of detail in the costume and the coloring is really nice. Oh, and we can kind of see how everything's attached right here. That's gonna be blocked off once we plug everything in. Yeah, I like the details on the little, like, I was gonna say fins. It's not rudder? fins. Yeah, the rudder. Like it has nice shading right there. Nice glossy, like, boots. And yeah, pretty, pretty nice overall. Oh, Waki Pie. Yeah. <gasps> is that what I think it is? What? Oh wait, no, that's just a fold. No, 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 it isn't. The Chikubi. The Chikubi! There's, a, there's another one right there. Damn. Right next to our anchors. Man, seriously, those moves, they're, they're so big and round. Like, that's pretty cultured. Yeah. But anyway, we have to give her her other big guns. Wait, you probably put the small ones on the back one. Yeah, yeah. Just... Oh yeah, that's a good idea. So we have two more same kind of like hexagonal slots for two smaller guns. Or two smaller sets of guns, rather. They're like four guns each, I think. Or four barrels. Yeah, it's, I think it's two two-barrel guns. Okay, ooh. Yeah, the tight is a little... I guess there's a slight bit of variance, but... Yeah. Kind of popped out for a second, but not too bad either. Oh, it's I think it's Orlikon. Or something like that. For the guns. Huh. Thanks, World of Warships. <laughs> ah. 
Yo, those World of Warship documentary videos, they're quite fascinating. They have documentary videos? Oh wait, I may have seen one of them. So let's point them back, I think that makes a lot of sense. You'll probably want to rotate the turrets now before you attach them to. Yeah, yeah. So according to this, looks like the turrets should rotate. Doesn't specify this one rotating, but on the picture, it shows the one with two guns on the her right side yeah. can do it. Oh, they can. I think I was just trying to rotate the wrong part. Oh. So actually, the rotation's not too bad. There's a bit of friction, but it's not like, you know, sh hard to do. Yeah, I think I just didn't notice because, you know, I thought it was this part that rotated, but it's actually this part, mm -hmm. like on top of that. So actually, adjusting it on the figure shouldn't be too bad. And then same thing here. Yeah. Oh, it had a little bit of initial friction, but now it's going. Yeah, so yeah, there is... This one, these two don't rotate quite as easily for some reason. But yeah, I don't want to be too aggressive with it. But I do kind of want it kind of splayed out for like... Massive coverage. Alright, so like I said, everything's keyed, there shouldn't be any issues with finding the right place. I mean, it would be weird to kind of attach it like this. Yeah. Oh, maybe before we go, it looks like you can kind of see the attachment point with the wave here, which I guess is probably going to be blocked off once you have the gun. So it looks like it might be a metal piece. I hope with, it's metal. It looks like it's metal with a bit of, uh, I think the word is knurling. Yeah to kind of help it stay in place, so yeah, that makes me, that makes me a little bit more confident. Okay, so I can definitely see a slight issue with this one. Yeah. Not with the styling, but because this thing is so thin, it's kind of hard to get a good grip. Oh. So I had to kind of use like three, like two fingers plus my thumb. So yeah. yeah. And since it's angled, you don't want to press it from the outside either. Yeah. So you definitely... You want to treat her like a... A nice lady. <laughs> <laughs> and then same thing for here, like... Because it's angled down, it's... Mm, oh, oh, oh! I'm looking at the reference. So... The bow of this one kind of slots in here and you can kind of see there's a triangular imprint. Oh. Okay, so this one will be a bit trickier. Um, oh, I should have put the gu little guns last. Uh. Oh no, I'm pushing from out here, which is not ideal, but yeah. Let me see if I can get a better grip back here. So yeah, actually, I would suggest putting on the little guns after. What if you did after and her elbow might be in the way of that? One? Yeah, that's true. Oh, why am I having the gun point that way? That doesn't make sense. Let's have it point there. Okay, that makes more sense. Yeah, if you try to slide like this, it kind of doesn't line up well, so I think you have to kind of push it in all the way and then kind of force this into that wave, like splash thingy. I guess wake is probably a better word. Yeah, this was a lot more involved than I was expecting on you. I mean, earlier when you were like, oh, those other figures were like so easy to do, and I was like, man, the next one's gonna be a pain in the ass, I didn't feel it. I feel like the keying is really important for this one, just cause visually it's kind of hard to see what you're doing. So you just kind of have to base it on feel to slide it in. Okay, yeah, there we go. I got it, I got it. Feel. Oh my god. Imagine. Yeah, doing this with studio lights and wearing a jacket. Terrible idea. Don't do it, guys. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay, so we're never disassembling her, I've decided. I'm wondering if I should have done this side first. Not sure if it'd make much of a difference, to be honest. I mean, I see it going in. But it's like, really slow going. Huh. Okay, finally got that slotted in on the front. 
Hopefully that'll help align it for this part. Oh, I got it in! Yay! Mission accomplished! Yep. So, it's really difficult to kind of get it in there. So once you have the bow kind of slotted into that kind of like front wake, it helps it line up with here and then like that final bit kind of went in a lot more easily. It was a struggle, but man, I think this was worth it. Look at that. Yeah. Oh man. So what, it's currently, it's currently May. Definitely a contender for a top figure. Of the year? Maybe. It's hard to say, I mean, there's quite a, quite a lot of candidates, but it's definitely one of my favorites. It's always hard to like rate figures across like different series and stuff. Yeah. Oh man, you know what this is making me think? It's making me, it's making me sad about that Max Factory Iowa I already have. Oh, how you missed out on the equipment? I didn't realize I didn't realize it came with equipment or without equipment. I think like heavy armament it was what it was called versus light armament. I didn't realize it wasn't on AmiAmi Ami at all. Yeah, you have to get it on their like official stores. Something. something like that. Or like partner stores. But I made up for it. Yay. So I can probably put the other one that like damaged one right here. Yeah. So yep. Quite a cutie. USA! USA! 